वारिस पठान हियर्स द फैक्ट दैट दैट देर इज अ परसेप्शन दैट द फिल्म इज बींग अपोज बिकॉज देर आर पीपल हु डोंट लाइक इट वाई कैन पीपल डिसाइड फॉर दम सेल्स लेट सिटीजन डिसाइड whether they want to watch the film or not why seek for the film to be banned well rahul first and foremost the makers of the films are trying to vitiate the atmosphere of the country by spreading lies hatreds and canards this is a propaganda film rahul there is no truth in it earlier they said 32000 girls have converted and they have joined the isis then they came very next day to three girls when the high court banged them that who gave you the information that 32000 girls went they said no we just came to know so this producer directors must be charged for spreading hate and creating a communal difference divide in the country second thing round if 32000 or 50000 girls have gone out of kerala or out of the state to join the iss what was the intelligence doing what was the home ministry doing but Why it's a film it's not, not necessarily a depiction second. of every single fact it's a film second thing second it's thing around fiction round. that this is their second interpretation of what they think happened at that I'm time i'm coming to the constitutionality of the banning of film okay just my friend ashok pandit and bjp spokesperson just now said that banning of film is unconstitutional may i ask them why was parzania banned in gujarat why was the bjp doc bbc documentary banned by modi's government because bbc document was showing the 2002 zona genocide of the muslims and who was the main hero of the film everybody knows that but i am surprised and shocked that we are a largest democracy a secular country and prime minister of the country rahul goes on the stage and is promoting the film which is promoting a kerala story which is based on uh, true not true facts and i won't be surprised to more if the prime minister goes to the kapil sharma shows for promoting the film i won't be surprised now coming to the third point of it what about this uh, bhagwa love trap which is going on in the country why nobody speaks about that when kajal hindustani and the likes of her like the hindutva ideology people they were making statements that please go to muslim girls to spread messages to social media and all try to bring them together near you convert them we will offer you 5 lakh rupees gifts are offered why nobody is speaking no, about that no but that no one made a film on it you could make a Let film remind them. somebody else Hitler can make a film person who made a film in 1940 the eternal jew <coughs> no 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 allow no. but here the question is of comparison as, as you said that we have got the videos of those people who are coming out from the theater or what their opinions are you will be shocked and surprised my friend ashok pandit is there he is talking about one side only there are videos wherein we have heard that people saying muslimano ko chhodenge nahi muslimano se nafrat ho rahi hai what about those videos so is this not very common okay. flare up between okay the let ashok pandit respond to it that there are that there are the reactions that suggest that this yes. is this is vitiating the communal air in the country seeking to create hatred against a full community and that's the biggest problem that varish pathan has with the film ashok pandit i think uh, you are underestimating underestimating the intelligence of the people of this country you know the political narrative uh, has been always around vote bank uh, there is not been any uh, riots or any opposition people are thinking about it people are liking it and see you saw the same kind of uh, you know narratives uh, during uh, kashmir files because they said this is a propaganda film when the reality is being shown when the truthfulness is shown when the characters themselves the victims themselves are talking about it how can you say that this is propaganda they during during the last so many years there have been lot of truths which have been hidden below the carpet all those things are coming out so when all these things are coming out it is very important for people to sit and think not fight among themselves and say that is a propaganda film it is the responsibility of mine as it's a responsibility of my friend varish patan or anybody else varish patan take this is kashmir files even for one girl or even for what was shown in the kashmir files is actually based cancer. on fact this is a cancer the fact which that the, the country is facing hindu pandit community was targeted by terrorists is not necessarily against one community it's a representation of fact as Rahul. it exists allow me, allow in the history they, of this country in the recent years they went on insulting I, I, me i will, will. ashok my friend please listen they, to me carefully they, they Rahul, went please on allow me just 10 seconds sir they went on they went fact, on they went on telling us that it's data. a propaganda ashok they ashok just tell me my point ashok it's a propaganda ashok just 10 seconds what is my ashok 10 seconds there is an ncrb data saying that 50000 yes, girls are missing in gujarat in the last 5 years 
who is there in Gujarat, whose government is there in Gujarat, the BJP, what is the intelligence doing? What steps have you ensured? To, what have steps have you taken to ensure that those girls are sent outside for whatever reason and are taken back to the country? What is the Home Ministry doing? Is this not a concern for the security of our great nation? Aray, aray, aray. You will be silent for that. Parzania is bad. You won't say anything. BBC documentary is bad. You won't say anything. But when a propaganda aray, is created aray, to tarnish the one particular committee, you will all rise. And what is shown in the movie? See, I, I must have not seen the movie. Ashok, no. I am telling you. But from the teaser itself, we can make out. But the producer director said we will remove the teaser, we will take back the teaser. So why to create hatred by teaser? 